Candy and I'm here with a really fun video. I'm going to be traveling so I thought it'd be fun to do a how to travel with your makeup kind of video. Now this is just for your personal makeup. This is not your professional um, like traveling with your whole makeup kit. This is what I take. My Zuka bag is what I take to travel with my whole makeup kit. It fits on overhead compartments on a plane. It can hold like a uh, a man can sit on top of it, so if you need a chair, um, this is great. So if you want to see a tutorial on that, comment below. Um, this is my other cute little Zuka bag. I have two. This is the one I would just take not to fly with. The wheels, I don't know, can you see it? The wheels light up. It's really cool, and it's cute. It's wider, so it doesn't fit in overhead compartments. So as you can see from the last time I flew, I had to valet check it, which means it just goes in with like the last of the luggage on the plane and I was like oh my gosh I hope my pallets are packed really well so they don't break so I'm going to show you how I pack my pallets if you're just traveling yourself so um planes can be a little rough and bumpy and I remember one time I was flying for a makeup job and then when I got there I it was like the first time I flew with my whole kit and all of my pallets were crushed and it was just like one big brownie gray mess it was I was just I was just glad everybody just needed gray, smoky, brownish eyes. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how you can prevent that because it was really not very fun because eyeshadows are expensive. So um, what you can do is I just take like a, this is just a leg warmer. I don't even know where I got this, but what works perfectly is say you just have like a Z palette full of your eyeshadows. You can put one side in there and then say you're going to take your other side like a naked palette and so you have one in each side. Then you're just going to fold it in half and you have cushion all the way around, which is awesome. And I'll show you what we do with this in a second. Um, so since leg warmers come in pairs, you're super set. So this is my bed night palette that I always travel. It's got like every essential color. It's their glam eyeshadow palette. I just love this thing. Um, so I'm going to put him in here and then say you have a little smaller like Urban Decay palette. We'll just stick him in this side. Now you have he's sandwiched and he's sandwiched like this. Then what I'll do is I'll just take these and I'll put these in the very center of my suitcase, like in between the two halves that open. I'll just wrap some clothes or jeans around them so they're extra cushioned. They have clothes cushioning all the way around them. They're cushioned together like this and this is gonna keep them really safe. Um, now your next option if you don't have a leg warmer is you can just take this bubble wrap packaging, like leftover packaging stuff. And this works well too, it doesn't, it, it seems okay. I just like the leg warmer is like way more cushy. You can get this at any packaging supply store. Recycle it from old things you've ordered. Now the Z palette just happens to fit in there perfectly. I would always fold it over on itself like this. You could put, you know, whatever other palette. Um, this one's a little long, so maybe you could just wrap him in here. But you always want to make sure there's a layer of bubble wrap or protection before you put those in there. And what you can do too is I like the little Zuka bag. These liners come with the Zuka bag. You can order more. And sometimes what I've done before is I'll just take my little leg warmer palettes and I will just put them inside the bag. Then I will zip them up and I know that they're not going to move around or slip out or anything. So you have those couple different options. Then what I like to do is I like to take my other products in either Ziploc bags if you're traveling with a liquid foundation, make sure you put it in a Ziploc bag first because from the altitude pressure, I've had many foundations just blow up and then you have this foundation just everywhere and it's just a humongous mess. So I put them in a little Ziploc bag and then I like to put them inside this little flat Zuka bag. So I just have like my Cover Effects um, concealer, I have this MAC Prep and Prime, and then I'll put other things like my eyelash curler, um, tweezers, this little Urban Decay concealer pencil. One thing you want to make sure is if you're traveling with a liquid foundation, put this in a Ziploc bag first, then put it in with everything else because I've had foundations of every brand and packaging just blow up and explode and then everything's coated in foundation and you can't get it off and it just makes a humongous mess. So put them in a little Ziploc bag first and then, I mean, I'll fill it up the rest of the way, but then you can see everything that's in it. So in your hotel, I will just set this on the counter or wherever you're going and just open it up and you have kind of a wide amount, not like a deep bag where you can't find anything. And then if you're really traveling with a lot, because I like choices and I'll take so much makeup with me, I'll take like so many lip liners and then I'll only end up using one and like a few eyeshadows, but I just like having options. So this would be like a partially filled another one of these little Zuka clear bags. So I just have like a bunch of different, some hot pink and bright orange, and I have some neutral and nude lip liners, and you know, just different little things I'll fill up in here. So then I'll just hold, fold these, and they flatten really easily. So you can just stick these in your suitcase, or stick them in if you have like a little cosmetic bag, or a little bag with your bathroom goodies. 
And then flying with your brushes because brushes can get smashed or you just want to be careful with them. So um, if you don't have something like a brush roll like this where you just put all your brushes in to keep them safe, this is just from Crown Brush. Um, I also found if you keep the little Urban Decay, if you get any of the Urban Decay brushes, they come in this little magnetic, it just like magnetically closes. Um, all their brushes come in these. So what you can do is just take some of your like, like I travel with a flat brush, a fluffy brush, and then these little kind of smudgy guys. They all fit inside of, they all fit inside of this little holder. Whoops, get back in there. And then you just close it. And then all your brushes are safely protected in there. And then I'll just throw that inside, you know, my makeup bag like that. But some of them are really long, like my angle brush. She doesn't fit in there. And then this kind of big dome-shaped smudgy one. So I'll just put them carefully inside the bag. So if I have eyeshadow bag or um, whichever bag I have going, that will keep them all safe. Um, if you travel light and you're just going for a few days, you can put all of your makeup into one of these little Zuka bags. I love it because you can see everything. You could put them in a Ziploc bag too, but this is a little sturdier. You can clean it and wipe it off. And that is how I travel with all of my beauty goodies. I wish I had a cool bag. Nobody designs a really cool makeup travel system for non-professional people. Like you're just taking a trip. You don't need a big metal train case. You don't need a big something. Maybe one of my dream things is I'll design like a cool makeup carrying bag. Remember caboodles? Did you ever have a caboodle? I had, I had a caboodle. It was like this plastic little like case and I just wanted to put all, I didn't have any makeup. I had like some chapsticks and I'd like put all my stuff in my caboodle and it was like, I think it was like in the late 80s or early 90s and it was like crazy colors. Like mine was like purple and hot pink but like a neon green latch. They were like all crazy colors. Um, but maybe caboodles should make come back. I'll call mine the can doodle. I don't know. Um, so I hope this guy, I, so I hope this will help you when you're traveling, give you some tips and tricks on traveling safely with your palettes because nobody wants to spend a bunch of money on your makeup and then you get there and it's all smashed and broken. If your eyeshadows happen to break, you can also watch my tutorial on how to fix your eyeshadows. So I've got you covered on all bases. So you can travel and look beautiful or maybe you're just going to a beach place and you're not taking any makeup with you. You're just packing moisturizer. That's even better. <laughs>